Ten years ago, ecstatic physicists working on the Large Hadron Collider, the world's most potent scientific experiment at CERN, announced the discovery of the Higgs boson, also known as the God Particle. According to physicists, locating the Higgs boson will pave the way for the investigation of others. Some people have even hypothesized that manipulating the Higgs may result in a variety of science fiction scenarios, like traveling at the speed of lights and other things. For fear of creating a black hole or a parallel world, several scientists have, however, been warning against this action. What unbelievable discovery was made at CERN? Have the scientists there failed to heed warnings thus creating a black hole? In this video, we're going to look into the unbelievable discovery made by CERN physics researchers. The greatest particle physics laboratory in the world is run by CERN, the European Organization for Nuclear Research, and the LHC, the largest particle accelerator in the world, acts as an atom smasher to create antimatter, which is invisible. The Higgs boson, also known as the God Particle, was discovered in 2012 by CERN scientists who believe it will reveal the origins of the universe and provide evidence for the Big Bang Theory, which states that immediately following the Big Bang, an invisible universe-wide field imparted mass to all matter. The largest scientific breakthrough of a generation, the discovery of the Higgs boson particle, has been linked to the lunar landing. Since the standard model of particle physics, a stunningly concise mathematical description of all we know about the fundamental constituents of the universe depends on it. Scientists have relied on trust that it exists for decades. However, many questioned whether the Higgs was only a creation of theorists in the ivory tower in the 1960s. After several years, a group of thousands of scientists from different countries effectively verified its existence. The standard model has been finished. We learned something really deep and fundamental about why we are here from the Higgs particle. It is proof of the existence of the Higgs field, an invisible force field that permeates the entire universe, engulfing us like a jello mold and providing mass to elementary particles. The constituents of the sun, planets, trees, buildings, animals, and all of us in their gravitational field. Without mass, protons, neutrons, and electrons would not combine to form atoms, molecules would not form from atoms, and none of us would be here today. Every particle in the universe at the time of the Big Bang 13.7 billion years ago was massless and moved at the speed of light. Everything as we know it started to take shape as the universe started to cool and expand. At the same time, the Higgs field started to condense. Neil Turok, the head of the Perimeter Institute for Theoretical Physics in Waterloo, Ontario, claims that without the Higgs, the particles we're formed of would not stick together. There would be no stopping them since they would all be moving at the speed of light. The globe would vanish in a cloud of smoke, he claims. Similar to how a photon carries the force of the electromagnetic field, the Higgs boson is significant because it carries the force of an energy field called the Higgs field. It's claimed that the field was more fundamental than the particles. It transcends the boundaries of place and time. The mass of some particles is determined by their interactions with the Higgs boson, which stands in for the Higgs field. The Higgs field can be compared to a type of cosmic treacle that slows some particles down more than others. Consider electrons, which have a very small mass, or photons, which have no mass at all. These less massive particles can escape the Higgs field relatively easily and travel at the speed of light. The Higgs field causes other particles to slow down, adding mass as a result. And as a result, these other particles are the most massive. Although they haven't seen anything happen yet, scientists think that the Higgs boson also gains mass via interacting with other Higgs bosons, just like these particles. The Higgs boson has a high mass as well, measured by the LHC to be 125 billion electron volts, or about 125 times more massive than one of the positively charged protons at the center of an atom. Particle physicists refer to masses in terms of their energy, 
since they are aware that mass and energy are equivalent as a result of Einstein's special theory of relativity. There is only one known basic particle that is more massive. The Higgs boson was found and its mass was measured, but that was just the beginning. The standard model isn't perfect because it excludes gravity. It only accounts for three of the four fundamental forces, but it's by far the most accurate model we have for how the universe is put up. Why are we alive? Why do planets exist? How did the cosmos come to be? According to scientist John F. Gunyan, author of The Higgs Hunter's Guide, the standard model explains all of this. The Higgs mechanism for giving particles mass is a component of that picture. The standard model was finally confirmed by it, but nobody was sure if it was real. They were concerned that without it, the standard model would fail. The Higgs boson was a difficult target. One reason is that the standard model provided no advice as to what the mass of the particle might be. Thus, the researchers had to consider a variety of options. Beyond that, it is impossible to capture a Higgs particle since it decays into other particles practically immediately after it is created, and theorists predicted there would be a variety of possible decay paths for this particle. By slamming protons together to shake up the Higgs field, the Higgs boson searchers had to produce one in order to detect one. There wasn't a particle accelerator strong enough to achieve this for a very long time. The Large Hadron Collider, LHC, was then constructed. Although the Large Hadron Collider's mission is broad, when it first began operation in 2010, finding the Higgs boson was its top objective. Within just two years of being in operation, the two main LHC experiments, Atlas A toroidal LHC apparatus and CMS compact muon solenoid, discovered the Higgs boson. Even before the LHC collided its first protons, many feared that its scientists were playing God and that replicating the Big Bang in a manufactured contraption may have unimaginably disastrous effects. Some others believed that the LHC would create a black hole that would swallow our planet completely. A Harvard University symbologist named Robert Langdon attempts to stop a secret society from attacking the Vatican with a canister of antimatter that had been stolen from CERN in Dan Brown's novel Angels and Demons, the author of The Da Vinci Code. When two physicists, Holger Beck Nielsen and Maceo Ninomiya, published papers in 2009 suggesting that CERN's project was doomed to failure, that forces would prevent the discovery of the Higgs from the future because the particle itself might violate the natural order, things started to get really strange. CERN has made every effort to ease these concerns. Angels and Demons has its own webpage demonstrating that portable antimatter traps, as described in Brown's fiction, wouldn't truly function in reality. The statement on its page that astronomical black holes are substantially heavier than anything that could be created by the LHC aims to allay any fears of catastrophic black holes. A team of researchers identified a filament of dark matter connecting two galaxy clusters for the first time, which was disclosed the same day the Higgs discovery was made, but with far less attention. The gravitational pull of dark matter a mysterious substance about which very little is known appears to hold galaxies together like a massive skeleton. However, dark matter is invisible to the human eye. We can only infer its existence from calculations of the galactic rotation rate. Only 4% of the known cosmos is composed of matter we can directly observe. The remaining 94% is made up of dark matter and dark energy. Scientists will be able to develop new ideas and models that may help explain the other, as yet invisible, 96% of the universe, about which we know very little, now that the missing component of the standard model, the Higgs boson particle, is in place. Supersymmetry, or SUSY, as affectionately known at the LHC headquarters, is one of those speculative theories. According to supersymmetry, every known particle has a superpartner that we haven't yet discovered, and dark matter is one of those superpartners. 
Gordon Kane, Director Emeritus of the Michigan Center for Theoretical Physics, believes that, in accordance with the supersymmetric hypotheses, you'd expect to observe other Higgs bosons, so it is possible that we're only getting a partial image. Another Higgs boson or multiple could very likely be the next significant discovery to emerge from CERN. Mother Nature only gave us the Higgs boson, according to Victor, if she's dull. Mother Nature will, however, provide us with more things to seek if she is nice. Another Higgs boson is one of these things. Time is one of the four dimensions we all understand, but there may be additional dimensions, up to seven or eight, according to some theories, that none of us can access in our daily lives. One theory holds that all dimensions were little particles in size at the time of the Big Bang. Some of them subsequently expanded, while others never did. It's like a really long, thin straw. The straw provides a large dimension along which you can move. You can also maneuver around the straw. You can't enter the dimension inside the straw since you are larger than the straw, but little objects can. Consider the graviton, a hypothetical particle that carries gravitational force. Due to the weakness of gravity, physicists think it may be continually leaking away into other unobservable dimensions. Due to the Earth's enormous size, gravity appears to be extremely powerful. But try this experiment. Raise a paperclip with a magnet. The magnetic force outweighs the gravity in strength. The majority of interactions involving gravity may occur in dimensions that are curled up in a little space you can't see. The Large Hadron Collider might discover them. The Higgs boson is both a powerful telescope and a very accurate microscope for studying nature at the tiniest scales. It can access physics at very high energy scales. Just because it wants to decay a lower energy, a truer vacuum, physicists refer to our vacuum as a false vacuum for this reason. Our universe is being kept in this fictitious vacuum by the dips and hills of the Higgs field's energy potential long enough for planets, stars and galaxies to develop. The fake vacuum, however, is intrinsically unstable and will gradually degrade over ages and eons of time. The false vacuum might be able to climb over those hills and roll down the slope on the other side, thanks to quantum energy fluctuations. Or it might be able to dig through the energy barrier thanks to the unusual quantum tunneling phenomenon. The decay of the false vacuum would spread outward in a wave moving at the speed of light, destroying everything and replacing it with a true vacuum. However it occurs, it would be bad for the universe. We consequently have the Higgs field to thank for the current cosmos, since it is only the Higgs field that is preventing vacuum decay. Researchers have spent the last 10 years attempting to determine the life period of the Higgs boson in addition to its spin. The standard model predicts that a Higgs boson exists for a very brief period, just 10 to 22 seconds, before disintegrating into more subatomic particles. This computation hasn't yet been experimentally confirmed, though. Things move so swiftly. In turn, figuring out how the Higgs boson splits up into different particles may reveal undiscovered subatomic particles. The Higgs boson hasn't merely added another particle to the list for physicists to check off. The universe's fate, the nature of the universe, whether the cosmos is stable, and the interactions between elementary particles are some of the most important problems in fundamental physics that are raised by its very existence and behavior. The Higgs boson, however, nevertheless keeps its secrets a secret. Martin stated that everything so far appears to be in line with what the standard model predicts. While this is intriguing, we were hoping that the Higgs boson would allow us to look beyond the standard model, so it is a little disappointing. Moving beyond the standard model is necessary to explain things that don't fit, like dark matter, or open doors into new physics like supersymmetry, rather than breaking the rules and destroying physics. That's why the LHC decided to revisit the Higgs boson's riddles after a number of years of improvements. On July 5th, 
Physicists at CERN revealed that they had discovered three novel exotic particle kinds that had never been seen before, shedding light on the mysterious subatomic world. The Large Hadron Collider was used to make the observation. Recently, scientists restarted the accelerator, launching the particle beams with unprecedented levels of energy. Three previously unseen particles were created by the collisions. A brand new type of pentaquark, a brand new type of tetraquark, and the first ever pair of tetraquarks. Quarks typically combine in sets of twos and threes. For instance, three quarks make up a proton. Tetraquarks and pentaquarks, respectively, are groups of four or five quarks that can join in extremely unusual circumstances. Although these have been seen before, the most recent finding was the first time specific combinations have been uncovered. According to Nicola Neri, a senior member of the LHCB experiment that discovered the particles, these discoveries are quite significant since they confirm the existence of exotic pentaquark and tetraquark states with different quark combinations, including the strange quark this time. The current upgrading and maintenance work on the collider has made it possible for numerous LHC runs, which are anticipated to be conducted in an unprecedented amount during the next four years. Thanks for watching another episode of Voyager. While you're still here, make sure to click the video on your screen for more mind-blowing videos about space.